Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. And I am back with today's tip on content creation and making a bigger impact. Um, anyways, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Kristen Paborski. I'm a mom, I'm from Kirkland, Washington, and I run a marketing implementation and strategy business. But actually, my passion inside of my business is helping coaches, healers, and entrepreneurs overcome their content creation fears and create content that matters to their audience and to their tribe by using my three-part smart simple content creation system and i've been told by my clients that i'm a magical unicorn when it comes to creating content and i'll dive into a great story about that here in a few minutes um but anyways my whole thing is about helping them create content that makes a bigger impact and grows their business. So let's dive into today's subject. Um, I am all about picking the right topics, and I you'll probably hear me talk about this over and over again, but it is so important that you pick the right, right topics. And um, you know what, I'm here to say, that Google search is not what you want to do. So if you're doing that right now to figure out what are hot topics, I want you to stop doing that. Um, I was listening to a podcast last week, and I'll just tell you why. Um, and I'm a big consumer of podcasts, and um, this was a big name influencer that maybe a lot of you people know who this person is, but she was talking about how she goes about creating a content plan, and she shared her list of ways to build that three-month calendar. Most of them I agreed with, but I was really, really shocked when she said that one of the best ways to find content for hot topics would be to use the Google search, and I am here to say no, 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 no. I disagree with that 100%. So um, let me just tell a story here too, because um, I'm kind of excited about this. So, um, and this is why I know that um, what I'm going to show you, tell you today works so great. So um, I have a story about a client one-on-one -on -one client, he'd been lackadaisical with his content creation, you know, and it didn't really matter that he skipped a couple weeks because he had content, evergreen content going out there all the time. It was still driving lots of views to his website. Um, this person gets close to 10,000 views a month on their site. And um, we already had stuff coming up in the hopper. So it didn't really bother me. But then once we got a few more weeks down the road, I'm kind of like, hey there, when are you going to start creating content again? Um, you know, you really need to keep doing this because, you know, just because everything's going so great, you've got to keep doing this. And, you know, he agreed. And so I showed him a really kind of cool way to kind of take the stress out of it, how to do it really fast. It's a rapid part of my rapid content creation system. Um, and you know what? I use it myself to create about a month's worth of content ideas, outlines in about 30 minutes. So I showed him how to do that. And while we were at it, we decided to go and research some new ideas. And we came up with this one idea for this piece of content that we put out there. And lo and behold, and we're going to use one of the my favorite tools that I'm going to talk to you about right here inside this live stream. He got over a thousand views a thousand views on that one piece of content in 24 hours so do you see why i am so bullish about picking the right topics and going to the right places to decide what it is that you should create whether or not it's a written piece of content it's a podcast it's a live stream uh, a video for youtube whatever it is if you're not doing picking the right kind of topics, then you're not going to get anywhere fast. Okay. You're just going to be stuck right where you are. So, um, so then I was just like shocked. Let's just go back to this. Why this big name influencer said you should use Google and here is why not. I've got 
two big reasons why not. Plus, number three is, hey, just showed you why this other tool works so well. And like I said, it's not alone time. I've seen this happen over and over and over again. All right. So reason one, why you do not want to use Google search is that just because it's on there doesn't mean that it's a current hot topic. So what I'd like you to do is just take a minute and um, when you've got time, type in a search term that you think you might want to get a hot topic on and then go look at the dates that that article was actually originally published. And you'll probably see it's a couple years old. And here's the reason why. It takes a while for content to go through Google's algorithms and get into the top 10. So just because a piece of content's been there, I mean, yeah, it might be great evergreen ideas, but it doesn't mean that it's the latest and the greatest. So I would really discourage you from going there to see what are the hottest topics that your audience is interested in. And the other thing is, you know, just because it's in that top 10 doesn't mean it's a great, not a great evergreen idea, but there's other brand new ideas and topics that are happening right now that are so much more fresh that people are more likely to be interested in right now. So um, let's just talk about like um, the three places that I suggest you go and find hot topics, okay? Other than Google search. Now, don't get me wrong, Google search, Google is great for a lot of things, but I would use Google for keyword planning and things like that, not really for searching for hot topics, all right? So here's what I would use. I would use Reddit, I would use Quora, and then my number one most favorite tool to use is BuzzSumo. And it actually, and, and that's where we found that topic last week that got over a thousand views in 24 hours. So, um, so just remember, you know, you can use any one of these to create content, whether or not it's for your blog, um, social media, a video, a podcast, or whatever. So let's just talk about um, Reddit. So you would just go there and you probably want to dig down into subreddits and just really look at um, what people are asking, what they're talking about. That's going to give you some great topic ideas. Okay. So that's what I would do. So I would go there and then, you know, same thing with Quora. It's kind of like Reddit. And you're going to, you know, look at the categories and then drill deeper. So any on those two, I definitely, definitely would dig deeper. Now on BuzzSumo, it's probably the easiest and the fastest. Um, and then there, I would start by looking no further out than a year. Okay. So I would definitely use that and go and look in the last year. And you might even want to drill down into the last month or a couple months or whatever of topic ideas. But that is going to probably be the easiest, the fastest, and the most current of topic ideas is if you use BuzzSumo. And honestly, um, again, I, you can still use Zuma, uh, Zuma. Sorry, I'm tripping over my words. You can still use Google, but I, like I said, I wouldn't use the search tool. I would use the keyword planner in, in conjunction with uh, the BuzzSumo topic finder. That's what I do, and that's exactly what we do to figure out what keywords are going to get you the most bang for your buck um, in your content, and that's going to get you to the top of the search faster, okay? So what I think you should do is um, block out some time. This is what I want you to do. Block out like 30 to 60 minutes on your calendar, and then I want you to pick one of those three uh, ways to go and research, and then just get a sheet of paper, decide what your categories are, and then just go start researching them. Trust me, if you do this one thing, it's going to change everything for you. So, um, you know, that's what I think is you just got to go out there, get a plan together, 
and do the research and that will make all the difference. So, you know, I'm going to just leave you with that tip today. Quit using Google to search hot topics and instead use some better tools. So, um, get started. And if you're ready to join the content creation revolution, I'm starting over here on Facebook. I've got a Facebook group called Big Impact Content Creators. And inside of there, I'm helping to show people how to create meaningful content that gets your message out, just like that client who got a thousand views in 24 hours, attracts clients, builds your tribe, and builds your business. And you can check the link. It's right below in the notes, and I hope to see you over there, and I will be back next week with another hot content creation tip. Have a great day.